for every day I've got multiple records and I want to know what is the day that has the most sales. This is the tricky one. 50 Excel formulas in 50 days, day 12. So we could do it with two techniques, one using the new group by function and one using an older Excel technique. I'll show you both group by and then we want to group by dates. So I'll select all of that and then we will select the sales value and we want to sum up every day. So if I just group it like that, I'm going to get every day and whatever is the value. We want to have the highest value, which is here, 25th of June, dollar $6,795. That's what I want. First up, I'm going to take out the total row from this, go here, comma, and then total depth is zero, no totals. So now we don't have the total row. And at this point, what I want is, I really want to ask the question, can you filter this list and just give me the max alone? So here we are going to use the let function and create a temporary variable called gr to hold the group by values. Then we are also going to calculate gr max, which is nothing but the maximum value across any row. And this is nothing but max of choose columns of gr and two. At this point, we could go ahead and calculate the filter. This is how that's going to look like. We'll say filter gr where choose columns of gr2 is equal to gr max close bracket everything and we will end up with that the date is 25th of june 2025 and the value is six thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars now if you don't have group by you're using an older version of excel here is the formula this one is a little bit tricky to explain but essentially we have to do it in two parts we need to do one formula for the date one formula for the sales i'll show you the sales formula first so the sales formula is we are going to do a sum ifs of the sales. So first of all, I'll take out the max from this and then we write sum ifs. I want to sum up the sales for every day and the criteria is also every day. So all the data rows are selected. What this will do is it will basically generate all the totals. And if there are three records in that day, it will generate three times of that. And if there is four or five records like that, then it will generate all of that. So that repetitions will be there. Now we want to ask what is the maximum value in this list. So that's where the max comes in, max of that, and we will get 6,795. To get the date, we just have to use the same sum ifs again, but this time do an index match where we are saying in this sum ifs, where is the max value? So that's what the match will produce. And once match has found the number of that record, then we use the index to get the corresponding date. How cool is this?